With all the confusion that comes with being in online school, the last thing that we need to worry about is worrying whether or not our teacher is able to understand us because of a bad microphone. And on the other hand, with so much free time during this entire quarantine lockdown season, um, a lot of people have started streaming or producing content online, which is amazing. But what do both these people have in common? The need for a good microphone. That said, today we are checking out the Fifine T669 microphone to see whether or not it is the best budget microphone that you need. Okay, so starting off with the externals about this microphone, the actual physical product itself. As soon as I unboxed this, the first thing that I noticed was that this microphone is extremely lightweight. As opposed to having those really heavy, big microphones that take up basically all of your desk space, this microphone is really nice because it still gets some really nice sound quality, but doesn't take up the entire space. It's really small, really compact, and again, really lightweight if you need to take it around, move it around, or move it on the arm that it comes with. And like I just mentioned, this microphone actually has some really nice sound quality. And in order to test that out, um, I'm gonna be running through various tests so that you can see for yourself how this microphone sounds in different circumstances. But finally, although the microphone itself is lightweight and portable, the products that actually Actually come with this unboxing uh, they're really high quality you can feel the weight in the the products themselves the arm really really heavy you can feel it firmly holding up the microphone and you just know that these products are gonna last and by the way this is something that I really like about this product even though you're not necessarily spending that much money you get a lot of things when it comes to the unboxing I mean for starters you get this nice desk stand so that if you want your microphone to be sitting right there just like that you have that option but the major reason why i got this is because of the moving arm you get the ability to extend the microphone out when it's in use and then close it back up and tuck it away when you're not actually using it which is really nice and which is why i opted for this version not to mention all the other great accessories that you get you get a pop filter which is really nice for making sure that you don't hear those plosive sound effects you get a shock mount so that in case you bump into the arm itself the sound isn't actually that bad. And finally, it has a really nice windscreen so that you can, again, just block out some of those excess noises that you don't want. And again, the great part about all these different accessories that you get with this microphone is that it's all included. So you don't have to worry about buying a pop filter or getting any of this extra stuff. They, they've thought ahead and you get all of this stuff for free. But while the build quality might be nice, you get a lot of accessories when it comes to the packaging. Obviously, the thing that you're gonna care about most is definitely Definitely that sound quality. Whether it be being on a Zoom call, streaming live to Twitch, or even recording a YouTube video, this microphone really does just get the job done, and the sound quality is just a testament to how well made this microphone is. Like I mentioned before, the amount of accessories and items that you get in the box is just something that you can't pass up. All of these things you don't have to worry about buying because it's already included, but something else that's really nice about this microphone is that it connects via USB. There's no external audio interface or no weird editing that you have to worry about. It's just as simple as plug and play, which means that for anybody like me, who's not necessarily an audio technician, this is definitely gonna get the job done because it's plug and play, it's easy to use, and it's very easy to just get started with this microphone. Now here are all the mic tests for all the different situations that I find myself in when I'm recording. Okay, so for the first test that I'm gonna put this microphone through is actually the distance. So right now I have the microphone about the same distance that I had it uh, during the last video talking about the iPads. I definitely recommend, by the way, that if you like iPads, you check that out. But here's a test of the distance, um, how the audio sounds from that distance and now as I move the microphone closer so now this is how the microphone sounds uh, really really close to it I'd say that I'm maybe three two and a half inches away from the microphone itself test test one two three let me know in the comments how this sounds and now just for comparison my mouth is right up against the pop filter which is maybe an inch away from the microphone itself Test, test, one, two, three. Let me know in the comments how this sounds. Okay, so right now I'm trying to be like as far away from the microphone as possible. And I'd say that this is pretty far, maybe half a meter. Um, test, test, one, two, three. Let me know how this sounds. It probably, like based off the waveforms, it's not picking up my audio as much, but it still looks 
relatively full. Okay, and now I have the microphone on with a background track of lots of people talking, and I'm playing this off my laptop at around half the volume. So test, test, one, two, three. Let me know how this sounds in the comments. Um, and right now I'm actually gonna put up the volume and it should become more difficult to actually hear my voice. But as I lower the volume all the way down to zero, I should now become more clear. And again, here's another test of the microphone. Right now I have some background music playing. This is probably the equivalent of if I like had a speaker in the back of my room, maybe somebody else playing some music. So test, test, one, two, three. Hopefully the microphone isn't picking up that much of it because it is directional and it should be more focused on my voice. Okay, and for this test, I'm actually holding the microphone as if it were a handheld mic. Test, test, one, two, three. and. The sound, even though it should sound all right, I mean, the waveforms, again, do look very full. Um, the direction should not actually be that correct. Um, maybe a little bit more to the left side because the way that this mic picks up audio is it basically all just comes through this center portion on the side. So if I hold it up here, you, you can still hear it, but as soon as I turn the microphone towards me, I, as I can see right now on the waveforms, it just becomes so much louder and so much clearer to you who is listening. And right now it's pretty close. So if I were to use this like a handheld mic, I would probably need to hold it out like this just to pick up my audio well. So let me know how this sounds as a handheld mic. Okay, and for this test of the microphone, I actually have it on the little stand that Fifine gives when it ships this microphone. And right now it's about three and a half, maybe four inches away from my mouth. So most likely how you'd have this microphone set up if you were maybe streaming or even conference calling. So test, test, one, two, three. Let me know how it sounds like this down in the comments. And actually right now I'm going to go ahead and move the microphone back. And this is what the exact same setup just pushed back a little bit further sounds like. Test, test, one, two, three. Um, definitely a little bit more quiet according to the wavelengths, but still hopefully clear to you. And I, I don't know how many of you guys would actually use this microphone like this, but I mean, again, if you wanna have it like handheld just like this, I mean, this is what it's gonna sound like. I mean, in my opinion, you probably shouldn't use it like this, but I mean, it is always an option. So test, test, one, two, three. And one last final test. This is what the microphone sounds like just off center to the right a little bit. Um, as you can see, I have it here on the stand once more. And this is what the microphone is going to sound like if you are trying to put it off center. So that way it's not actually in the, uh, the view of the camera. So test, test, one, two, three. Hopefully it is still picking up my voice really well, even though I'm not actually directly pointing my voice at the microphone. Now, I've talked about a lot of positive things when it comes to this microphone. I mean, just from the sheer amount of accessories that you get to the excellent sound quality and even the build material of the product itself. However, this product isn't actually perfect and there are some drawbacks when it comes to using this microphone. So the first drawback that I noticed when I was using this microphone is actually some small refinements to the build. The build has some really nice quality to it. However, there are just some small things that I would personally change. First of all, when you're tightening in between the two arms right here, turning the screw can actually sometimes get in the way of the spring and of the arm actually collapsing on itself, which in some circumstances, I found a little bit annoying to get that perfect, precise uh, mic placement that I wanted. Some other minor things that I noticed in the build was that the, the springs, sometimes when the arms were folding in on each other, the springs would misalign and you just hear like a little it's just a little bit annoying when you're constantly moving the mic up and down, and that's definitely something that can be f easily fixed with the build quality. And finally, it would have been nice to see rubber on both sides of the screw, so that way you're not damaging your desk. And while this microphone does have issues like that, and the other issues that I mentioned, they don't actually take away from the experience of using the microphone itself, and you're especially not gonna come across these if you just opt for the desk mount like that. And now for something that I've been talking about through this entire video is the price. And generally when it comes to audio, this is the kind of stuff that you shouldn't cheap out on yet. This is a very affordable option for gear. At only $60 American, this really is a great bang for your buck, especially considering the great quality of the microphone itself, as well as all the added accessories. And that is my review of the Fifine T669 microphone, which I truly think is the best budget option microphone if you're a streamer, content creator, if you have a podcast, whatever it is, you're going to get a lot of value out of this microphone. And just like this microphone could provide you a lot of value, 
If this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.